Yo, what is up, guys? It is Skarm, and for today's video, I'm going to be putting the What If SBC for Wendell. Of course, this is an 86 rated left back card, 5 foot 10, high medium work rates, left footed, a 4 star, 3 star. So, so far, looking decent. And if you guys aren't aware on how What If cards actually do work, so from the time of the SBC release, uh, Bayer Leverkusen have to get one clean sheet out of their next five games for this card to be upgraded to an 88 rated card. If they fail to do so, this card would not get upgraded. He would remain an 86 rated card for the remainder of FIFA. But apart from that, on to the player traits. In terms of player traits, he does have dives into tackle traits, which is honestly pretty good on a defender. Uh, when you guys look into the in-game stats, uh, pace is overall pretty good however you would still definitely want to boost that sprint speed in my opinion i prefer to have defenders that have more equal pace that way you guys can boost it with the shadow camera style and you don't feel too weird about that acceleration kind of just being wasted as it's already maxed out however when you guys look into passing uh he has a great crossing a decent vision a very good short passing a pretty decent long passing and decent curve as well when you guys look into dribbling he has great stats great agility balance uh decent reactions very good ball control dribbling at 89 is also very very good composure at 80 could be better however it's still pretty good when you guys look in it to defending the defending stats honestly look way better than 84 in my opinion and you got to keep this in mind by Leverkusen are honestly a pretty decent team they do have the capability of getting one clean sheet in their next five games so if these stats were to be boosted that would just be absolutely phenomenal and when you guys look into the final stat which is going to be physicality he has 80 jumping 87 is stamina 75 strength and at 96 aggression so those are some great stats overall however would i recommend this sbc no i would not this is going to cost you guys 198,000 coins to complete so would i recommend this sbc no i would not this is going to cost you guys 198,000 coins to complete which is quite the amount of coins to be using however if you truly do believe that he will get the plus two upgrade which i honestly do believe he will and you guys really do need him for your squads maybe linking players like neymar into your bundesliga squads then i definitely do recommend it only for those circumstances however if you guys just have a bundesliga squad or something like that i would definitely just go with alfonso davies however the brazilian section cost guys 26,000 coins the bundesliga section cost guys 172,000 coins to complete and you do get yourself two packs in return both the packs are pretty decent and they are tradable as well so now to move on to the brazil section like i said before this is going to cost you guys 26,000 coins to complete no loyalty is required as you can see even though you right back it does have loyalty it does not affect this spc whatsoever so here are the players i did use And that is the Brazil section completed. So now to move on to the Bundesliga section. And like I said before, this is going to cost guys 172,000 coins to complete. No loyalty is required as you can see, even though the right center back and right center made it do have loyalty. It does not affect this SPC whatsoever. So here are the players I did use. And that is the Bundesliga section completed. That is also going to be the end of this video. So please do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Peace out.